Shalom. Welcome to Rob on the Rock. I'm Rob Vanoff. And here we are at day five of March through Mishle. We're going to look at Proverbs 5, 1 and 2. I have the Accordance uh, Bible app open that you can see here. Two easy verses. And here we go. Beni, we've seen this before. Ben is son with the yod at the end. Here at yod is my. Beni, my son. Le chokhmati. See that again, the Hirik Yod at the end? That's my. Le chokhmati. So chokhma is the word for wisdom. Chokhma. Chet kaf mem he. But when we have a suffix, that last he disappears and we have a ti. Chokhmati. My chokhma. So my son, le is to. Beni, le chokhmati. To my wisdom. And then we have the imperative verb. Hakshiva. Hakshiva. That means pay special attention to, to be alert to, to give all your attention to or focus on like a laser beam. Bini. Lechokhmati hakshiva. Means give all your alert attention, my son, to my chokhma. So here the, the picture is the father has something that is precious and valuable and he's wanting to convey that successfully over to to uh, to a reception by his son bni le khokhmati hakshiva litvunati hat oznecha litvunati so remember how khokhmati means to my khokhma here we have litvunati to my tvuna tvuna is understanding so the parallel here is between hochma over here and tvuna. Le hochmati to my wisdom, li tvunati to my wisdom or to my understanding. And just as we had the verb hakshiva, an imperative, pay careful attention. The parallel here, here is hat oznecha. Hat means stretch or incline lean but what does it say lean your ear hat oznecha lean your ear so beni le chokhmati hakshiva litvunati hat oznecha lean your ear then verse 2 lishmo that's an infinitive li is to shmo is guard or protect lishmo in order to guard Mizimot. Mizimot. Often when we have the cholam vav, tav ending, that's a feminine plural. Mizimot. So the, the singular is mezima. Mezima would be something like a plan or a purpose or even a scheme. Because a mezima could refer to an evil person's evil scheme. So the term mezima and mezimot, uh, discretion or... Uh, plan or purpose or even scheme does not have a negative connotation or positive in and of itself. It has to do with the context. So here, lishmor mezimot, to protect discernments, to protect discretions, to protect plans. That's what is being told here. Lishmor mezimot. So these are valuable discretions. Something that needs to be protected. I said discernments, but I didn't mean, I, I misspoke. Discretions. Things that are protected because they have to do with who needs to know and they have to do with a, a, a plan of action. Lishmor mezimot. Veda'at svatecha yinsoru. Veda'at so in knowledge, it's just a noun, da'at, knowledge. Svatecha, your lips. Svatayim uh, are your lips. Svatecha, yinsoru. Let your lips guard. Yinsoru is they will guard or let them protect, let them guard. Lishmor mezimot, in order to guard uh, discretions, discretionary plans. Veda'at svatecha yinsoru that your lips will guard or preserve or keep 
da'at, knowledge. So um, let's just note two things about the, the nature of the, the parallelism here. In verse 1, it's bani. We only have it addressed once, bani. But then we have the parallel of lechokmati and litvunati, to my wisdom and to my understanding. And then followed by each of those is the verb hakshiva for lechokmati, and then hat oznecha, stretch your ear. So it's kind of a repeat. We have son, to my wisdom, attend to my understanding, incline your ear. But Proverbs 5 2 is also a parallelism, but we can see that it's chiasmic. The verb is at the beginning and the end, lishmor, in order to guard, and then the last word, insoru, that they will protect. And then we have on the inside the objects, mezimot and da'at, discretionary uh, plans, and da'at, knowledge. And of course, between the two, we do have uh, two different body parts. We have uh, oznayim, ears, at the end of verse 1, and svatayim, or lips. So altogether, we have Proverbs 5, 1 and 2. Bni, lechokmati hakshiva, litvunati hat oznecha, lishmor mezimot, vedaat svatecha yinsoru. Shalom.